So guys, a while back, we actually started discussing a lot of the content from Infinite Frontier. And something that was really interesting in that is we had like a really hardcore return to lanterns being a focus of attention in the mainstream DC continuity, which is kind of weird. You don't typically see that outside of the one major event that we had, which was Blackest Night and then potentially Brightest Day, uh, depending on how you choose to look at it, because they were kind of removed. But either way you look at it, it's kind of interesting to see them back in the forefront. And I want to catch you guys up today on what's kind of been going on now that the series is wrapped up, at least for the year's duration. And I might have a few more videos on this afterwards, kind of just discussing a few things. So there's some huge lantern power scaling involved here. Like we got huge amps with the end of, with the conclusion of this series. But at the end of our last video, we basically found out that there's no longer a source video, a source wall that exists, and now we're attached to this greater omniverse that exists out there, and Flash went to go discover it, and he kind of got one shot by this villain named Psycho Pirate. And of course, we saw Roy Harper, the newest Black Lantern, get his ring. Well, we're going to get a lot more confirmation on pretty much everything to do with him specifically and like what's going on, I guess, uh, up into this moment. So to really summarize issues two, three, and four pretty hardcore, you've got a bunch of, uh, of the heroes who aren't from Earth Zero or the original Earth just disappearing, which is really weird. And then on top of that, you have obviously the shenanigans uh, going on with Roy Harper. And then you also have in the multiverse, all this stuff going on, especially with a lot of people not having, uh, a lot of people not trusting Earth Zero, because it, it, regardless of everything, it seems that all troubles come from Earth Zero. So there's just a lot of distrust that's been being uh, kind of built uh, throughout all of time. And we get a lot of examples of that. And psycho pirate back to the psycho pirate business he's essentially been memeing and scheming behind the scenes to do whatever it is he's planning to do and it sure seems that he's working for uh someone like dark side like we had covered in that last video and it turns out a lot of the characters we had come up into this moment including this uh, for, uh this bones guy had all been kind of working for dark side because a lot of these guys are afraid of of the other verses, specifically Earth Zero, and they just kind of want to be cut off from those other verses. And as a result, they started kidnapping certain characters, trying to remove them uh, and get them back to their home verses, which is what all those people being kidnapped were. And obviously, we have the conclusion of Bones getting uh, essentially caught by all the heroes, including old school Alan Scott and his children, uh, one of which was kidnapped, being Jade. And sure enough, he just gets slammed, man. I mean, Bones, this Bones guy just is not relevant. So the old school team, team up of uh, this family just, just rolls through him, no problem. But the problem is Flash is still kind of like, Flash is still doing whatever it is that Darkseid and uh, Mask Idiot have kind of planned out for him. He's running on some sort of super cosmic treadmill. And we're not entirely sure of what's going on here. But Roy Harper, this Black Lantern, shows up, and this entire time, every time he's tried to use his powers, he's essentially become more dead. He's less and less alive each time he tries to use that ring in order to defend himself. So he's kind of in this weird situation where he's one of the most powerful characters there, but he can't really utilize his ring regardless of anything. And he stumbled across all of these idiots by uh, a few different fights with some of these villains. And in the middle of this... All of our heroes kind of get a uh, uh, get cornered by Psycho Pirate. He says, "Okay, you want to throw down? Well, I've kind of come prepared. I have my own Justice Incarnate, um, which includes some really interesting characters, including a Yellow Lantern Joker, which is like an interesting territory to uh, to venture into. And uh, of course, the Justice Society responds in classic fashion, and we see a, a good old uh, villain hero brawl. Man, it's it's pretty hardcore stuff, but." Psycho Pirate's been manipulating Flash this entire time to get him to essentially generate enough energy to uh, to stop the connection between all of the verses. That's the goal here is to just absolutely eliminate any 
any way to move between any of the verses because they believe that's the safest way. A, for some reason, they believe that's going to make them safer. And in the middle of all this, these black chains start sprouting up on characters, including uh, multiversal Superman, uh, who's the head of the Ori of Worlds. And during all of this, we kind of finally get an explanation as to what's kind of going on. And Psycho Pirate uh, reveals all these black chains, dude. This is uh, Earth Omega. It's a prison world. And we're trying to use the powers of this world to separate the multiverse for sure. And he says, Roy Harper, you're the final piece. You're not... You're not necessarily your ring's not from Earth Zero. It's it's something else, something older and darker. And whenever he was revived in the last event, Dark Knight's metal, that ring was used like Batman's ring was used to resurrect him specifically. And it chose him because he has just a history of kind of being shit his history just is bad it's rough it's so he suffered through so many different things and so which is kind of I, w I won't admit like i will admit it's kind of like a change in terms of how the black lantern ring works or at least traditionally how it has in the past but something interesting to consider either way and he's become an avatar for it so he says uh if you really want to go ham you can you know you just turn into a zombie you'll lose yourself you go mad says, do you really want to do that, dude? Your daughter's here. Do you, would you give her up the, would you give her the chance to uh, finding her? Would you let her die? And, you know, he says, yeah, to stop you, to stop the multiverse, I guess I'll, I'll give up my freedom. They'll find a way to stop me. And so he goes like full ham and just becomes a zombie, <laughs> essentially by powering up uh, and utilizing that black ring to its fullest. And... He just asked them to save the multiverse, and he's powerful enough to destroy all of these purpley black chains that had been wrapping everyone up. That power, keep in mind, that's Darkseid's current power, this suit, this new super Darkseid. And we haven't really gotten a clarification on what exactly, or how exactly powerful that is. But so all the heroes corner uh, Psycho Pirate, and sure enough, we hear a boom tube, dude, and Darkseid walks out. And he says, dude, this battle will only feed my power, man. And the multiversal barriers have already been created. So I rule over all of that domain. And with my Omega Lantern at my side, I'll control absolutely everything. So Darkseid, for some reason, wants to control, I guess, travel or just maybe the multiverse in general. But he has to use this Black Lantern ring in order to do it, or at least Roy Harper, because he says Omega Lantern, so maybe it's not just the ring, maybe he actually needs a user of it as well. But either way, Darkseid needing that is very interesting. And we start off on the next, uh, this next issue here where Barry is just still stuck in that machine, running and running and running and running. And we go back to the this huge battle that's popping off right now between all these different characters, all of Darkseid's forces that have rolled up on the battlefield, as well as the Justice Incarnate. And Darkseid's just sitting here discussing with Roy Harper. He basically says everything from our our metaverse, all of our creation is, you know, about to kneel before him. Darkseid at this point in time has already completely killed off the quintessence. And he says all his past versions have combined into one ultimate version of Darkseid. They hoped to imprison him here, but unfortunately it didn't even stop. They only got stronger. <clears throat> he thought the anti-life equation was the big bad, but instead he found something better in his eyes. Something stronger, more powerful. He believes he found the Omega Lantern, and through it he can control the greatest force in any and all multiverses that exist in ever, like in the Omniverse. And a bunch of heroes roll up on Darkseid, having finished off their original first fights, and I mean Darkseid's just not having he essentially throws Roy at them. And Roy at this point in time is kinda like all sorts of like zombied out, but but Alan Scott's son can essentially absorb darkness. And so he's absorbing all of the darkness of Roy to kind of like unzombify him. Because it's that very darkness in the storyline that's kind of morphing him in this instance. 
and so he can kind of like subtly pacify that ability by throwing it into the darkness that he exudes which is its own dimension and in the middle of all of this multiversal superman president superman says i've had enough of this and just flies straight at the machine that flash is running in and smashes it and all these chains that was separating uh the multiverse that existed uh or our metaverse specifically within our multiverse like it just it shatters everything falls apart everything everything crashes to the ground and everyone stops fighting and for some reason during this event the ring roy harper's ring is gone and dark side standing over there with that ring in his hand and he says we're all doomed dude no one's free and the ring is no longer active the flash is gone i don't even know what happened to him the crack that could have done all of it the omniverse is taken from him it's gone it's over and psycho pirate says he's needed in another event and disappears who knows what's going on with that however dark side kills uh, the last of his minions that aren't worth a damn and then one shots all of the heroes present says all right man well that was kind of a that was kind of a shit show <laughs> that didn't necessarily work the way i had intended but it is what it is so he takes that that ring and he, he says, man, he, they don't even understand what we've done today, actually. He says, are you ready to vow to me? Are you ready to not fail me like Psycho Pirate? And he gives that ring to this other servant who'd been through, in the side of all of this, who's, a, who's another multiversal character from another verse, who's kind of afraid of the, the Earth Zero, of, as well as like the greater Omniverse at hand. And of course, this character is 100% ready to accept the responsibility of having this Black Lantern ring. And, and she doesn't want to fail like Psycho Pirate, of course, did. But she wants to know why she let them all live. And he's like, well, hey, don't worry. They all have their part to play. I don't want to kill, you know, pawns that could be essentially hanging out in the background whenever I could use them. But trust me, there are foes on the horizon. You know, this place was never a world. It's just a piece of a resting enemy that's been there since the first, the original crisis, and now that it wakes. And we will essentially find the crack in the Omniverse, but I'm not the only person that seeks this power. I'm not the only person who wants to control the great darkness. And now he just looks off into the dark, like the sky, which is nothing but this abyssy uh, nightmare that exists above him and his family notably grail but whenever he was speaking earlier he starts referencing characters who exist on a higher scale out here and seek this same level of power and not only did he reference black lanterns a black lantern ring as something that he needed to use the power to cut us off from that omniverse but he even notably recognizes necron here being one of those other characters ascertaining that same level of power that he's at or trying to so a rival to necron like dark side just now has reached this new infinite state and is just now considered like a rival to necron in his full force and this has confirmed something that like old school lantern or old school like necron fans have been like thinking about for a long time because we have a few scans of black hand being notably stated to be like parallax or ion the emotional entity of death but that wouldn't make any sense because we already had uh, wouldn't Necron logically be the entity of death for our verse? And also, why would he need a host to be in our existence, unlike Parallax or Ion, if that was the case, that being Necron? So, if he was a being from out in the Omniverse, not in, within our localized metaverse or multiverse, then that would make a lot more sense, and that also buffs how just crazy powerful Necron really is really was way back in the day and now that uh, i've gotten this video off for you guys my next video hopefully will be a really sick piece on just necron and with this new scaling exactly how dangerous he will be so 
unfortunately we're not entirely done either because we get one last itty bit of uh, information at the end of this the epilogue where we finally see flash continue running he never stopped running until he realizes he was being manipulated and he stops and when he finally stops running he doesn't even recognize where he is until he looks around and when he looks around he recognizes this is literal multiverse the multiverse 2 that he's in and he says well wait a minute i've actually been here uh once before back during the first crisis way back with gentry and, and empty hand and Sure enough, uh, this guy walks up on him, uh, and he kind of narrates, saying, I warned everybody about this shit. And he says, well, who are you? And this guy says, my name's Pariah, but don't worry, dude, I got you. And he just touches his hand and one-shots him. Literally, it looks like he literally crises him, him in, like, one shot, dude. And he's back in kind of like the perfect Barry Allen setting. And when we look outside of that, we essentially see that he's trapped him in some kind of world or what looks like his own narrative. And so it looks like this pariah guy can just trap people in narratives. And that story is going to be continued in 2022 with whatever event that is. And I'm not aware of what that is off the top of my head yet, but I'm sure I'll hit you guys up with it down the way. But if you guys want to see that Necron video and you really want to see some wacky shit, let me know, guys. Uh, and I'll make that video up, hopefully, for Halloween. Later, guys. It's been fun.